All right, guys, beginning of the new season. I'm out here, it's February 27th on Sunday. Study up putting out a couple cameras. Snow's still a little deep. I haven't seen any deer tracks. I'm guessing they probably either went up in the mountains a little bit or they went somewhere else where the snow isn't quite as deep right now. But the area that I got it set up in, I got pictures of deer, videos of deer all month long in November. Well, from June when I put them out until about, oh, December or so. I didn't hunt much this year. I got COVID. Uh, that put me out for the whole month of November, pretty much. Uh, junior hunt day, you guys seen that video. Uh, me and the boy was out. The wife and the other boy was out. Nobody's seen anything. Like I said, we got videos of deer all month long there in November, but I just, I couldn't get out to do any hunting. So I'm hoping this year is a better year for us. Uh, hoping we'll all be able to go out, including myself. Uh, the old, this boy there, he missed a good one on junior hunt day. Gun wouldn't go off. I'm guessing it was probably the firing pin. But either way, it was a nice buck. Nice eight pointer. One we hadn't caught on camera yet. So we're hoping to get something better this year. And maybe he'll have a shot at a good one. Uh, and hopefully the wife will tag out this year. Hopefully the other boy will tag out this year. But, you know, show you guys where I'm hunting at here. And my camera right there. Again, it's a Spartan camera. Hope you guys can hear me all right. I got a new phone, so. I haven't quite messed around with it a whole bunch. Uh, it's a little chilly out here today, a little windy. Like I said, I hope you guys can hear me all right. Um, I got my new sweatshirt on. This one here. My sister made me this. The back of it's got our logo on it. Uh, like I said, we're hoping to get some deer on camera here right off. You know, hopefully it'll be good for us this year. Hopefully nobody's sick or anything. We didn't, didn't do a lot of coyote hunting this year. Not as much as I wanted to. I just started my new job at uh, Lucas Tree. I love that job. But kind of disappointed me last week. Me and the two boys come out. My two sons came out and picking up cameras and we're walking down through the woods and uh, I see the horns from the big seven pointer. I'll put that up so you guys can see that right quick. Now I got him on camera in November. He was one of our core bucks, uh, buck that was hanging around all the time. You know, he great big wide seven. And I called the game warden and he come out. He looked at where the deer was. You know, he still had his rack on him. And uh, he said he thought maybe somebody had shot the deer. You know, didn't realize they wounded it quite as good as they did. And, uh, didn't look for it any further. So, it's one of my biggest pet peeves, you know. If you shoot at a deer, either confirm that you missed, know that you missed, or don't stop looking until you either find the deer, dead or alive. You know, there's, there's way too many coyotes in this area for people to be doing stuff like that. You know, I understand some people hunt alone. They don't have the help to go out and look for that deer. Well, I'm from the Rumford area. And if you need the help, let me know. You know, subscribe to my channel. Get a hold of me. 
through my channel, you know, whatever. I don't care. If you if you shoot a deer, if you shoot at a deer and you think you hit it, you know, let me know. I'll come help you look. I have no problem with that. I'll take time out of my day. I'll take time out of my evening. I don't care. I just, I hate the fact that people going out shooting and then, you know, the track for 15 to 20 minutes. Oh, I missed it. You know, know that you missed it. You know, or even better, know that you're going to hit it when you pull the trigger. You know, I passed up on a lot of deer because I didn't know if I could hit them or not. You know, and I'll probably get a lot of a lot of flat for this, but you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, Rob, how do you know you're gonna hit it if you don't squeeze the trigger?" Well, I don't. But at the same time, being being an experienced hunter, you know, if you don't know what your rifle is capable of, find out. You know, whether you're using a rifle, shotgun, I don't care. You know, bow, crossbow. If you don't know what your firearm or archery is capable of, then don't do it. It's that simple. You know, I understand he was a big deer. You know, somebody just maybe pulled the trigger thinking that, you know, he was a big deer. And I really want that deer, but, you know, if you're going to have the guts not to pull the trigger, have the guts enough to go look for it. But anyway, off that subject because that gets me wound up. But uh, yeah, this is where this is where my uh, ground blind was last year, right over there by that pine. Uh, there's a couple of pine tucked in that little corner right there. You know, we had deer coming through here all year long. You know, I'm I'm not gonna say I'm the best hunter in the world because I'm not. You know, I come out, I put my time in, I do what I gotta do, you know, to feed my family, to give my kids that outdoor experience. But I just, as far as I'm concerned, it's not worth it to just pull the trigger just because you want to. But anyway, so that's my camera, that's set up. I got another one set up, probably three, 400 yards away from that one. Uh, you know, I just try to put the time in right now. <laughs> kind of irked me last year that I got COVID and I had double pneumonia. And uh, I was in the hospital for three days. Doctor sent me home with oxygen. So that kind of killed the season for me last year. And then I see that seven pointer laying there, dead, picked off by the coyotes and stuff. Game wouldn't come up. He gave me the head of it told me I could keep it but uh yeah I mean you know I'll update as I get pictures right now I got no deer tracks up here at all but it's the main deer trails that I put my cameras on I mean you can see you know you can see all the coyote tracks and those are coyote tracks you know for anybody you, know, you can see the nails in the coyote tracks you know, they're pretty thick in this area. So maybe before hunting season comes around, I'll take a couple of my buddies and my two sons will come out and try to thin some of those out. You know, you're never going to get them all, but one less coyotes, you know, a couple more deer. So, but anyway, guys, I'm almost back to my vehicle. I got my wife and my four daughters waiting in the vehicle for me. I go pick up the boys. But anyway, like, subscribe, greatly appreciate it. You guys have a good one. Stay safe out there.